Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame, and welcome back to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. In the previous episode, we... <laughs> Sorry, my roommate really knows my intro very well too, Key. <laughs> uh, we took a look at what actually happens with Ethan and why he was what he was doing on the railroad. So we decided, I can't remember, I think I was going back this direction in order to find something out. Uh... And also, there was a huge spaceship as well that was absolutely intense because it made no freaking sense whatsoever. I don't know what my objective is, but I will find out soon enough. I think... What's my objective? Can I check for my objective in anything? Options... No, I'm done. Oh, shooty McShooter shit. Poops. Poops me goops. What am I doing? I already did all this. I was able to figure out what I did. Listen to me. Uh, yeah, I did that. Travel. Did that. Tra Grandpa? Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it. I have to destroy the room. Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no. I can't let you do that. Ah, uh, that's right. Uh, his grandfather is freaking insane. So we looked down here to see what was going down here and uh, this, to see what he was doing to his grandson. And it took us to this point over here. Uh, you can see that they were resting here. So I think I have to go towards this direction and it'll lead me to more things that were happening. And I might stop by that village over there uh, to see if there's anything that can be of use. The one that's all the way over there. I don't think there's anything else in the woods that I can use uh, for my advantage because I took advantage of that space. Whatever happens there, I swear it was... felt like I was on some sort of trip. Not that I know that, I'm just saying. Let's check out... Uh, all this down here. Well, we already checked this part out. Uh, I just don't know what else I need to do next. I know I'm trying to find Ethan. I just don't know exactly where to go next. So I'm going to check this stuff over here and follow that bridge over there to see if I can go into that small village. Because that's where I think it's leading me. It's a little laggy, it's okay. Is there anything in the woods that I could possibly use? Like, is there any evidence of... something? There has to be somewhere. I have a feeling, a sneaky suspicion that there is something I could use. Uh, did I miss the bridge? I did miss the bridge. Here it is. Maybe I can find some answers over here. It is, the music's actually quite soothing. I'm enjoying the music right now. And the beautiful scenery. So pretty. Well, holy cow, imagine falling down there. I would not like to fall down there because that just seems like an awful time. All right, so I have a feeling that they ran towards this direction into this, oh, no one lives here. Where's everyone? Come on, who abandoned such a pretty village like this? Is there evidence that Ethan could have been here while he was being chased by his crazed grandpa? Here's something. I invoke the boneless one, the one of voids. Destroy your shits and he was feared by the winds. Hear me. Great Minister Focalor, I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusion. Oh god. You guys probably saw that. To cloud their judgments. Seal the path with falsity and ghoul guile um, 
and permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Aglon, uh, Tetragram, Vashion, Simulation, Answer Phrase, what the hell? Amen. Amen, brother. What just happened? What? It's like a freaking boss to Dark Souls, like a freaking clouded room. Nothing out here, but it's pretty. Whoa. What? What is... What is this? What am I... What? Am I back where I started? Yeah, I'm back where I started. What is... No, 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 no. I'm going back upstairs. I'm redoing that. What was that garbage? What, what, what's that, what's that, what's that? Huh? Was that the magic spell that I said? I am a little confused at the moment currently because I just don't exactly know what happened. But that means we can just check the next house because there's nothing else for us here. No, oh, I can't jump. That's dumb. What's that over here? Is that a catapult? That is one hell of a old defense unit for a village such as this. Yeah, yeah, my buddy was working the catapult the other day. Oh, it's not a catapult. That made me sad. I was hoping it was. Oh, it's an elevator of some sorts. I wonder if it still works. Well, it's looking like it's missing a few components, and I don't think it's going to work anytime soon. So, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, how am I going to get up there? Probably over here, Kristen, because, you know, there's stuff over here for you to climb up on. Now, is, there, is that same thing going to happen like it did in the other house that it is going to be in this house? On the day this photo was taken, Uncle Chad was mean, Dad was sad, Mom was mad, Travis was loud, Grandpa was quiet. It's the whole family! Oh, I thought there was more stuff back here. Ominous music can start. You can feel it, right? Something, uh, something coming from the Vandegrift house. I can feel it. Ethan that scared me a little bit. What did you do? What did you what did do? You wake up? Why did you Nothing. wake up? I found a room. Whoa, no, I want to. What? Why did it stop? Keep going. Keep going. No, I want to hear all of it. Oh, whatever. Looks like I can't hear all of it. The symbol, this symbol is literally everywhere around the house. How curious. They're getting worse. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. What sleeper? I know. What I don't know is if it's real or not. This, what's the sleeper? I don't understand. Travis, leave what the, the boy alone. I see how you've been looking at him. You don't even know, do you? You have no idea what's going on. What is going on? Please, someone inform me in here. Us. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. All right, I'm guessing that some sort of you've all gone crazy. Demon was summoned by little Ethan here. Um, I don't know how the kid is able to summon some sort of demon. But, that's my guess, because everyone thinks the other person's going crazy. And, no one wants to accept the fact that something extraterrestrial extra or out of... It's not my fault. I 
didn't mean for any of this to happen. Any of what? Any of what, Ethan? I, 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 what, are, what are you talking about? I, what is going on? All right, well, that's my fill of this house. I guess the only thing I can do in this house is just walk around and see. Um, something's leading me up here. Ooh, how curious. A little cave opening. Not really a cave opening, but just something over here. Looks like a rock slice happened between here. Huh. How curious indeed. Hmm, quite, Kristen. Um. Now where is this taking me? I could have missed something back there, but... I'm a... So it seems that Ethan summoned something that took control of the family and it tore the family apart. It drove everyone in absolutely insane, especially the grandfather who killed his own son in an attack. Almost killed Ethan, to our knowledge. He could have killed him. This house seems intact and untouched. Ooh, the cemetery. What's with the white? Oh, no. Huh. Well, I've never liked cemeteries, and I never will. That one seems condemned. So let's look inside. Oh, of course. It's dark and mysterious. I can't see a damn thing. Crow. Do I need the other crow? It's over here. Where am I going to find that crow? Oh, it's by the grave. Okay, I know where it is. Mortar. Troll. Troll. Interrupted, it's true. Someone was... Oh, God, there's more blood. Signs of struggle. I didn't even see that over here. Well, the, yeah, there is no blood trail. Just right here. Alright, it was over here somewhere. Gotcha, Crow. You're nothing but the Crow, Jon Snow. Something significant about that Crow that I can attach to that graveyard mount, and it could potentially lead to something. I would like to inspect this, too. Oh, it does look like a crow. I didn't realize that. Sacrifice. Sigil. Sigil. What did that do? Whoa! Ho, whoa, 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 whoa! Houston, we have a dead body in here. Uh, chest room, no blood, post-mortem, facial cut, minimal bleeding. He must have a back. Well, there's the, the weapon. Multiple attacks of... Alright, looks like I need more evidence in order to know what exactly happened here. I have the murder weapon, at least. It's a bucket of blood and crows? It's the blood from the crows. Many question marks indeed. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I feel like we're close to finding out something in here. Let's take another look in here and see if I can... 
if it's bigger. I'm getting closer. I just need one more piece of evidence that will help me determine his cause of death. Just one more piece. It has to be laying around here somewhere. Could be, whoa. Burn matches, oil can. A round stain oil lamp. Oh, where was that oil lamp? It was in the house on the grounds, but what house? Basement, probably. In there? Oh, that creepy building? Yeah, because that makes me feel safe. Alright, looks like I gotta enter this building and, and try to retrieve it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, it looks like I can't go up. I've never liked a church. I've never liked being in a church. They've always freaked me out a little bit. Uh, just due to the fact that it, they've always used them in, like, horror movies. <sighs> Especially since I love watching Supernatural movies. I just really enjoy watching those types. Alright, I think that should be everything. I guess not. I'm still missing something. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a fabulous day. And I will see you in the next video. And hopefully we find this guy's story and figure out what happened here. Bye-bye.